you know you can actually put temporary tattoos on glass but you have to prep the glass first because if you don't they just won't stick and they'll just go slippily slippily slidey all over the place firstly you need to make sure that your glass is absolutely 100 percent clean so give it a good wash before you try and use it to make sure you've got all the grease and things off and then go over it with a little bit 99 percent alcohol if you've got it because that will really help and then what you need to do is you need to make a decision on where you're going to put your actual transfers or temporary tattoos now i'm going to use this tribal one on this one here and i'm also going to use these lips that i've got what i'm going to do to prepare this glass now if you don't do this step then it's not going to work and i have tried several glues and different things with this and this is the only one that i've got to work and this is the water-based gilding paste so what i do is i put my tattoo on here like so on the outside so i know that i've got it in the space that i want it and then taking this glue i put a really thin layer over where that tattoo is going to go on the inside and the great thing about this is a nice thin layer will go a long way and also it dries almost invisible and it's important that you also put the tattoo on correctly because if you don't what you'll find again is it won't work but as long as you follow these few little rules then you shouldn't have a problem so that's the first one i know that that's going to be there now i can remove the tattoo if there's any spaces i've missed i can just go in and put some of this glue so that will be okay for there and then i want the lips to go there once again all i do is go in and make sure I've got a good covering where that tattoo will go. And then we'll put that to either one side to dry or we will dry it with a hairdryer. I'm also going to do this glass as well. These jars that came with sauces in them. I think that one came with sauerkraut in. But it's a lovely way to upcycle them. And I'm going to show you what else I'm going to use to just to jazz them up a little bit. Well, this is nearly dry. It's been about two, three minutes. But I'm going to give it just a quick blast with the hairdryer. So now we've got those dry. As you can see, that is almost transparent. And you're not going to see that really when the glass is finished. These temporary tattoos are so inexpensive. You get loads for your money. What you must always do as well before you do anything with your temporary tattoos is make sure you take that transparency off because if you don't it isn't going to work and also you'll transfer your tattoo onto your transparency the other thing is you're only going to get one shot at this because this stuff is sticky as and as a result once you've put it on that's it you can't move it so i'm going to try and be as careful as i can putting these on. And then what you need to do is make sure that that has got a really good contact with what you've just put in there like that. And let's put the other one in. I was going to use the lips on this, weren't I? Let's make sure I get the lips up the right way because I always seem to put the lips up the wrong way. Apparently this is going to be a little bit easier because there's not as much bending and things with it. They are up the right way. So I can hold them in there now. I've got them the right way. So once you've got them in the right way, then you can hold them in there like that and then push something against them to make sure it's attached. Then again, use your finger to ensure it's well attached to that glass. This one's going to be a lot easier because it's smaller. I try and cut away as much of what I don't need as possible so that I can get it in there there we go that one's on so they're both in there now this is the really really important thing when you wet the back of these you don't want to saturate them you want to get a bit of cloth like this put some water on the back you really don't want them soaking wet because if you do it's going to ruin it now I know this is how you're supposed to put them on anyway but to be honest normally I just try and speed them up soak them off and then pull it off and it works really well on skin and on resin and things 
but it won't work so well on this glass. And then once I've wet that back enough, I'll leave them for about a minute. So they've been soaking for about a minute and you can tell when these are ready because what you can do is put your finger on there and if that paper is moving, then all you need to do is slowly pull that paper out like that and that leaves you with your tattoo. Now, if you wanna put a candle in these, you can or you can fill them up. And I'm going to use something else in them in a second as well. Look at those lips, they've come out really well. So let's see if the feather's ready. No, the feather's not ready and nor is the skull. So that just needs about another 30 seconds. The other thing is once you've done that, make sure you dry your jar completely. And again, all I'm gonna use for that is a hair dryer. I don't know if you remember, or even if you saw the video, but I made a video a while back on how to colour sand, and these are the colours that I've got. It's really easy. I will link it at the end, along with linking everything that I've used today. What I've also done is I've got an old water bottle here, and I just cut the top off using a sharp knife, and that is going to be my funnel to use with each one of these and I'm going to fill them with different colours. Now I'm not necessarily going to do each jar the same but what I am going to do is use a range of the coloured sand and I might do different depths as well and look how easy that works. If you don't have one of these this is really for scooping soil out. There we go that's my first layer on that one. I might do the darker colour next. And now it definitely needs a lighter colour, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to fill this one the same way. And this one, if you want to do something so you've got them at an angle, you can pour your sand in there like that and have the, have the jar resting at an angle until you've completely filled it up. But I want all my jars to be flat like this. And now I've got this jar filled right up. I filled it right to the very top. I'm going to put just a little bit extra in as well because I want to push this down. This is really dry, so don't you're not going to hurt yourself or you get anything on you because obviously the sand's lovely and dry. And then I'm going to run a stick across the top to even that top out before I put the top on. And the reason I've done that is so the sand can't move around in there at all. I'm gonna go ahead, do exactly the same with this one. Well, there we go, they're finished now, didn't take long. This would be a great little project to do with your kids. And look how well those tattoos have come out on there. I filled these with sand, but you could fill them with colored bath salts and give them away as gifts to people. And how pretty would they look? The lips are rare. I did get them out the right way up, which is a big, <laughs> big first for me <laughs> and as you can see you well as you can't see the glue that we used there has gone completely transparent and it hasn't affected the look hope you've enjoyed this craft don't forget to boot the like button and to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future crafts the link to everything that i've used today is in the description below i'll link the video as well that i made the colored sand take care enjoy your crafting bye